Greetings, dudes and dudettes. I'm Dark Minded Sith, and welcome to Majora's Mask Bon Jovi Edition. Why Bon Jovi Edition? Well, because I would say at this point, we're about halfway through the game. Give or take. So, therefore... Yeah. Yeah, just, just, just thought I'd do that. Oh, hello. Well, who, who might you be? Hmm. Yeah, she is. She's trying to tell me something. She's trying to tell me that she has chest pains, I guess? Hmm. Oh, hey there, honey. Um, it's a nice sunset we got going, and since I slowed down time, it's we can savor this moment even longer. What do you think about that? Well, fine then. Don't talk to me. How rude. Okay, so we are back in the Zora Hall, and yeah, by the way, I love this little boop, boop, boop kind of kind of noise that uh, Zora Link makes. So what we need to do around here in Zora Hall is meet the different characters and find out exactly what our agenda is. So, where have I been? Ugh. The long story. So let's go in here, and what we're going to do is we're going to meet the various band members of the Indigo Goes. Here's the drummer. His name is Tijo, I believe. Yeah, and he, if you listen, he's actually playing the cave music from A Link to the Past. For all you uh, Zelda nerds out there. I don't know how many precious fish he killed just to make that drum set, but... How cruel. Well, most band members don't seem to know anything about their fellow members, so... I guess not knowing anything is, isn't really anything new, so... Eh, it must be that stomach ache of hers, or something. Hmm... Maybe... Well, that's fine and good, but do you know Victoria's? Because that's the one I really want to know. Eh, fine. Not that we have a world to save or anything, but... That's right, lesson number 27, kids. Always listen to rumors. Do they now? Hmm, interesting. Yeah, kind of. Uh, I, I kind of drifted off because I was intrigued by the fact that you have no nipples. Maybe Lulu's the... The, the what? The what? The, the next Miss Termina? What? Finish! Find them. You murdering your fish for your drum set. God, you're worse than BP. Okay, so Lulo is apparently not talking. And it's possible that it's because the ocean is in bad shape. So, thank you, T. Joe, for your words of wisdom. You were very helpful. Let's move on to this door. And we're going to meet Japus, the other band member who plays the bass. Hey, Japus. How you doing? How you doing, man? It's new. It's all the hot gossip. Yeah, talking to him sometimes is kind of tough for some reason. Oh, three exclamation points! He must have been like, MIKAL! Or something. Why does everyone gotta know where I've been? Stop getting all under me. I'm pretty sure taking old Elton John songs and Replacing various words with Zora doesn't really count as writing, dude. But... Well, girls always do that when I try to talk to them, so I, this is nothing I'm not used to. <laughs> what would you know? Your hair's covering your eyes. 
like you can really see much of anything. Uh, all right, I, I'll come clean. I ate a pizza earlier with anchovies. I'm sorry, but they're just they're just so tasty, dude. Well, we'll just get on stage, play some random nonsense, and just flat out not give a crap. I mean, you know, that's what Limp Biscuit does. Alright, thanks for all your help, Jappas. Alright, so we're going to go on to room number three. And we're going to meet Evan, who's the band leader. Yeah, it's nighttime. Th thanks, thanks. So let's meet Evan here. And for all you Zelda fans out there, if you listen carefully, Evan is actually playing the Game Over music from the original Legend of Zelda. Isn't that right? Um, actually, you know what? You're not even playing that! You're just standing... You fake. Um... Yeah, about that. Um, well, you see, I didn't have breakfast today. Kinda got hungry on the way here. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, dude. Yeah, rude girl. She wouldn't even say one word to me. Well, I mean, she could always lip sync. It'd be like going to an Ashley Simpson concert. Oh god, never mind. We don't want that. I don't know, man. I've been eating quite a few french fries lately, so... I don't know if my blood is quite as good as you think it is, so... I never keep secrets from your band. Alright, I'll keep it a secret. I won't say a word. Hey, everyone! The concert's being cancelled because Lula lost her voice! Uh, uh... Anyway, uh, how's the writing going? Hmm. Let's see what you've written so far. Eh, not too bad. I think it might need maybe a little bit more work, though, personally. Alright, thank you, Evan, for all your help. And, uh, now we're gonna go on to the fourth and final room. Don't tell me to shut up! Uh-oh. Yeah, see you later, porkies. I mean, the nerve of people to just sneak up into a, a girl's dressing room like that. Oh my god, Lulu's room! <laughs> Let's go through her drawers. <laughs> and, what are you doing here? Well, a girl's dressing room, I, I guess he'll get a lot of customers, that's for sure. So, what do we have? Um, oh, <laughs> Lulu's diary. Now, it's not much of a diary when you leave it wide open and exposed for everyone to see like this. I mean, shouldn't you put this, like, under your mattress? Your little brother will never find it there. <laughs> Alright, let's read her diary. Let's see if she thinks I'm cute. Oh. She's just gonna talk about that. Boring. Let's get to the good stuff. Where's all the hot gossip at? Wait. You lost your voice... So you talked to Evan? What? 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 Okay, so she, she was recommended to take the eggs to the marine research lab. Okay, so we don't have to do anything. She's going to do all the work. Thank you. Cool, I don't even have to move a fin. All right, now now we're getting to the good stuff. Now she's going to vent. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. And? Oh. Sucks. Wow. 
But I thought we were BFFs. <laughs> but I thought I was the optimistic friend. <laughs> Put the shotgun back in the gun cabinet. Oh, a piece of heart. Hmm. How do we get that? Eh. What the hey? Maybe we'll find out later. Hey, you're back. Get out of here. What are you doing? Did you guys kill a poor starfish just for decoration? Just because they don't have brains. Alright, so I played the Song of Soaring, and I've worked back to Great Bay Coast. Um, so basically, we've got our agenda now. Lulu has lost her voice, and the Indiegogos, the band, uh, they are suffering from this. Because without that, they are without a lead singer. Because that's that's what's important right now. Not that moon falling, but people people's bands being successful. So we're going to come in here to the Fisherman's Hut. Talk to Baldy McNo nipples here and Yeah, yeah, quit bragging. Oh, okay, so you just lied. Alright. The seawater's gotten warm. Uh not any five year olds swimming out there, are there? Because if so, I think I know why it's gotten that way. Yeah, well, uh, good luck with that, and um All right. Well, good luck and um, take you know, take care of yourself and uh, keep your chin up. And... Oh, Pinnacle Rock is that where uh, capture cards are? Where you can film your let's plays? Mm. Mm. You know, dude. You know, I really don't care about any of this. Okay. Uh, there's always a condition. Alright, spill the beans, man. What you want? Um, I'm, I think it's in my other tunic. Sorry. Mm. Oh, sorry, no nipples. How about I give it to you if you put a shirt on? Maybe one of your relatives took it. There's always the relative who can't take a good picture. I'm always that relative in my family. Well, all the photographs I have have the eyeballs cut out of it, so... Oh, I'm... <laughs> anyway. Well, so now we have our agenda. We gotta help uh, Baldy McNo Nipples by getting a picture of a female pirate. And we've gotta stop the moon from falling, and... What is my life? <laughs>